Happy Thanksgiving, Buck Nation. Uh, Tis the season to be thankful. First Chronicles 1634 reminds us that the Lord is good. His love endures forever, and we are to thank him for that. I've always loved 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 16 to 18, because there the Apostle Paul reminds us that we should give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. And I know if your life has been anything like mine the last 18 months, that there have been days, perhaps weeks, maybe even seasons in the last 18 months or so that you have found it difficult to give thanks. When I was in the military, uh, there was often a thing that we would say about physical fitness test. And there was a difference in those who were ready for a physical fitness test any time of the, of the day or night because they had a, a lifestyle of fitness. And we contrasted that uh, position with those who only uh, got themselves ready for the test. And so the fact is there was only about six weeks of the year that they would be considered physically fit for all intents and purposes. I like to contrast those two ways of living. Uh, the first way of living, if you're always ready to be fit for the task at hand. When we think about Thanksgiving, that's not just Thanksgiving. That's not just one day of the year in which we give thanks. It's what we call thanks living in which we obey the command to give thanks in all circumstances. And so this year at Thanksgiving, Vicki and I will give thanks for you, Buck Nation, for all that you have done in making your alma mater proud. For those of you who are our friends and supporters, thank you for your investment and your contributions in the success of Charleston Southern University. We exist to prepare servant leaders so they can pursue significant lives, and we could not do it without you. So thank you. Have a wonderful holiday. Happy Thanksgiving.